often running stitch is not thought of as an embroidery stitch, but it can be a great choice. Today, I'm going to show you how to stitch a motif using running stitch. Welcome to Eva's Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pochagi, and embroidery. So I have this motif. It's a fun little tulip shape. And today I'm going to stitch this using running stitch. To outline the shape, I use three strands of embroidery floss. I outlined with running stitch using the back and forth sewing motion. Turning the hoop as I went helped my stitching to be all in the same direction. After going around the whole shape, I fastened off the thread. Once the whole shape was completed, I used three strands of the same color of embroidery floss to make whipped running stitch. This involves taking stitches underneath the running stitches. These stitches do not pierce the fabric. They just float on top of the fabric between the fabric and the stitches. When the outline is done, I switch to two strands of embroidery floss to begin the filling stitches. I stitch lines echoing the shape of the piece I was filling. I began by stitching a line on each side and a line across the center to use as reference for the curve. Then I filled in the two sides. I didn't mark or measure anything. I just stitched lines freehand following the curves of the lines that were in the shape. I tried to maintain even spacing to keep a consistent density. When one section was filled, I used the same method to fill in the other two sections. So here it is finished and you can see it looks great. Be sure to check out the other ways I've stitched the same motif using different embroidery stitches. For more information about embroidering with running stitch and a bunch of other stitches, be sure to check out my website, evadastudio.com.